Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're going to discuss the question of whether or not uh, the Arnic framework is free. And the simple and short answer to that is that yes, it is uh, free, but we're going to discuss some other things as well. So if we look at the actual uh, GitHub repository here for the Ionic framework itself, you'll see that Ionic is open source software, uh, it's completely free and MIT licensed. And so what we're looking at here is the code that makes up the core part of Ionic itself, the framework, uh, and all the different packages for Angular and React and Vue. And as well as this, there is also the CLI and things like capacitor that we can use as well. Uh, since this is MIT licensed open source software, uh, anyone at any point in time can just copy the entire source code for Ionic here, fork it into their own repository and do whatever they want with it. That's completely fine. Uh, for many open source projects, it is very uh, community uh, driven and Ionic also allows many contributions from the community. Uh, but Ionic also has the driving force of a company behind it. And so there is a commercial company behind Ionic that is building and maintaining it. Uh, so even though this is free software, there is a commercial company behind it who are looking to make uh, profit, of course, because they want to sustain themselves as a company. So this doesn't place any restrictions on how you can use Ionic. Uh, if you like, you can just be a single developer using Ionic and building small apps. You could be a team of 50 people building massive apps with millions of users, and that is completely fine. It's still completely free. There is no restrictions in terms of it being commercial uh, or personal use at all. So then let's discuss then why some people might be confused as to whether or not it is indeed free. And if we come to say the Ionic Framework website itself, you can see in the top right here, we have a little pricing section. And of course, if you're checking out a new technology for the first time and you see a pricing link, you probably assume that it's going to be a paid offering. Uh, so let's look at exactly what this uh, means here. And so you see what's listed here is, uh, is the uh, AppFlow service uh, that Ionic offers as well as a couple other options which we'll talk about in a second. So let's just focus on this default option here, AppFlow, and we'll look at the different packages. And so you can see at the moment there is these three different uh, packages here. We have the starter, which is $0 a month, which says for individuals just getting started. The growth package, uh, which is uh, targeted at teams and then the larger custom packages more targeted at enterprises. And I think seeing this is probably where the confusion around Ionic comes from about whether it is uh, free or not. Uh, but if we scroll down to this, see what's in these packages, you'll see this line here, Ionic framework, uh, Ionic CLI, which is the, the two things that really make up most of the Ionic experience. The Ionic framework is all the uh, components that we can use to build uh, mobile applications, the CLI is a thing that we can use to generate applications and build the applications. And you'll see that both of these are included uh, with everything. And you see that the Ionic framework here is tagged with this little OSS tag, which stands for open source software. So it doesn't matter whether you're paying or not, uh, you can access the Ionic framework. Uh, what this is uh, describing here is AppFlow. And AppFlow is basically as uh, they're describing here DevOps services. So it's a platform we can use to do things like help us create builds. And you can see here there's native app builds. So rather than uh, creating native builds on our own computers and having to set up uh, SDKs and whatnot, we can use the AppFlow service to do that. Uh, they have continuous uh, integration. So you have this sort of pipeline of your app builds and then they're built automatically. You can have these live deploys. So your apps are automatically updated. And then there are different uh, services within that available depending on which plan you're using. And it, it also affects how many native builds you can do uh, through their service and whatnot. Uh, and again, so you can still do your own native builds. You can still build Ionic applications for iOS and Android locally on your computer using your own uh, SDKs that you've set up. Uh, but you can also use their service if you like uh, and if that makes it easier for you. So this isn't the Ionic framework itself, this is some um, additional services to help sort of get more out of your Ionic applications and to help you build and manage them. And as well as uh, AppFlow, we also have two other options here, Studio and the Enterprise Edition. Uh, Studio is a newer offering from Ionic, and I think that's still sort of being fully fleshed out at this point in time. Uh, but at the moment, this is available, I think just to 
uh, enterprise customers at the moment. And basically it's a, an IDE built specifically for Ionic development. So there's some WYSIWYG features in there. Uh, you can you know, drag and drop components and uh, you know, I think it's all very integrated with the whole Ionic experience. So that might be something you're interested in uh, if you are building Ionic applications. And then we have the enterprise edition of Ionic. And I've also seen some confusion here in terms of, you know, is this like a better version of the Ionic framework? Is it, you know, does it have more performance or something like that? Uh, and that's not the case. This is the same Ionic framework. Uh, this more provides, I guess, more guarantees for larger customers who are looking for it. So with most open source software offerings, the maintenance is very, it's, it's all free. It's done by the community or it's done by you know, a company behind that. And maybe there's not as much support as uh, perhaps enterprise style companies um, would want. And so you can see some things listed here that the enterprise edition offers. Uh, there's features here like protection from untested updates and breaking changes. I think there is a line here for uh, sort of hot fixes. So if there's a problem that needs uh, fixing, uh, you would be able to get access to a version with that fixed before it's released uh, to the general public. Uh, they've got management of Cordova platforms and plugins by the Ionic team. And so it provides, I guess, a more full uh, guaranteed and um, supported service from Ionic. They'll kind of, I guess, be there to help you out rather than just having access to the software yourself and you know, being responsible for everything yourself. So there certainly are paid offerings from the Ionic team and it's to be expected if they are a company who needs to make money to survive. Uh, but Ionic Framework itself is uh, open source, it's MIT licensed, it's completely free, and you can do whatever you like with it, uh, even if you're not buying any of these services. Okay, so I hope this video helped clear up any confusions people might have had if they're checking out Ionic or they're new to Ionic. And uh, if you did like this video, please do feel free to subscribe. I have plenty more Ionic content, and I will see you in the next video.